interesting moments. Embarrassing moments. Happens oh. to you in your career on stage? There were many. Yeah, <laughs> but the most embarrassing one? I, I don't know. I think I jumped up, uh, I jumped off a stage once, and I couldn't get back on. I think that was <laughs> really yes. When yes. it was. Yeah, and when I got back on, because it was raining, I sort of slid, slid all over the stage. I think that was one of the. I don't know. I have so many. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, but that, that was uh, that Have you was. Ever had a backstage like that? No, that was back in the days. Today, you know, today people think, oh, they 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 play like all these big rock and metal festivals. But normally it's very like boring. All the people sitting around, maybe drinking two or three beers, but not too much because you have to play. And no drugs, no girls, no. <laughs> 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 Yeah, sometimes you you really like when you when you play like a nightliner tour or something, then you yeah can can like. But we are just I think we are just normal people, so we have our girlfriends at home, so and stuff like that. So. Except for me. Except for him. So he he's he's going wild every night, oh, like yes. with girls. A lot of cocaine and uh, <laughs> booze and. Uh, He's naked, I think, every night. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Which kind of music you eat so you can stand? I can't stand. You can't. Okay. So music style that you despise. I actually, I think I love all kinds of music, except when humans aren't, you know, making this music. For example, you know, techno music or something like that. I, I just. You know, I respect that. Everybody should be able to do their thing. Yeah. But I just don't. I just don't get it. I just. It's not my thing. Yeah. For me, it's like I also like many kinds of music. Like not only rock or metal music, also funk, soul, hip hop, and uh, stuff. But I don't get into like techno music. I don't get it. And also ska and reggae. That's I think for me it's. Well, there are a few reggae. No, for me, good, for me, so. not. No, I don't like ska and reggae. I don't get it. I don't like it. Uh, have you worked with musicians since you were a child? Well, um, you know, my parents. Uh, my parents were musicians. My father is a you know piano player, and my mother is a singer. So. I didn't really, you know, at first want to become a musician, but I listened to, to a lot of music. So uh, I guess when I picked up the guitar, I I sort of knew I was going to do that, but it wasn't, you know, set. Yeah, for me, it's the same. My my father, he was a musician back in the days. My mother was also very into music, and uh, I started with the piano when I was like six or seven and uh, then I switched to the drums but uh, yeah, music was always a very important part of my life. So, yeah. Which was the album that uh, uh, brought you to the style that you're playing right now? Oh, that's very difficult. <laughs> because because the style we are playing is, is uh, you know, composed of such a, you know, broad range of music. It's hard, to, uh, you know, to say which which one album I am. I don't know. I can say a few albums I like. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Pantera, you know, Vulgar Display of Power is one of the greatest albums for me. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Texas Flood. For me, it's also like so many. I think for for, for us, like a band, it's, uh, we have like 
all this, yeah, like you said, like we are, we are influenced by blues rock music, by hard rock music, metal music, funk, soul. So it's such a wide range of, of, uh, of styles and music. So and we are all very big fans of music in general. So it's really hard to pick just one record. That uh, when I when I was young, really young, and I listened the first time to like the number of the beast or peace of mind of Iron Maiden was like okay that's something I really want to do because it's yeah, it's uh, so natural and so uh, such a great style and uh, I think it's still for me it's one of the most important bands but yeah what do you think uh, about uh, in this de generation the rapport about uh, mu uh, music and the uh, internet? What do you think? Uh, I didn't understand. Uh, yeah. Um, I think it's, for us uh, we are not that old, like 30 to 35, um, but it was such a great feeling to, uh, to just go to a record store and to buy a record and to listen to the record for the very first time. And now it's like uh, every day there are like 100 records coming out uh, in each genre and uh, yeah, it's a very sad thing that, that people are not they just go on Spotify and oh, now I want to listen to that music. I now I want to listen to that music. And it's not like to go to a record store to buy a new record to to check the artwork, to check the booklet and stuff. So that was really a, just a good thing. And the only good thing today is um, that that vinyl is is really coming back. So also young people they they are buying vinyl again and. To, to look on the on the big artwork and stuff, so that's a good thing. But the internet is like a, it's good and bad at the at the same time. It's very good to 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 uh, to spread the word, to to get people into it, uh, and Facebook and, and the web web uh, website and stuff. But at the same time, it's. So much information and so much music, and yeah. Uh, what would you suggest uh, to other groups then? What is it? What would you, would you suggest to other groups then? To start in a career, okay, 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 um, work hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you have to believe, you have to play live. And I think many bands. When they start to, uh, to to write music, to record music, in the beginning you have to like spend money, you have to uh, work very hard, you play so many shows, and nobody is paying you any money for playing the show. So you will actually play, pay to play, and stuff like that. So it's ridiculous, of course. But uh, yeah, you have to believe in it and keep it going and stuff. So that's really important. What are you listening now? What are you listening now? What is in your phone? What is it? What is inside? At home, what I'm listening to. Yeah, yeah. What are you listening to right now? Ah, okay. Uh, you got an artist or a band or a record that you're listening to? I really love the new uh, Joe, uh, Joe Bonamassa album. I really like that one. Uh, I'm, listening to? I'm listening to ZZ uh, Top uh, Tres Hombres. <laughs> That's not new. Because, yeah, well, it's not new, but for me, because I got a, um, I got my first record player. So uh, I'm sitting there at home with my old, you know, speakers right. and with my vinyl. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for me, they are, it's uh, many, many new bands. Uh, the latest is uh, a very good band from uh, the US called Holy Rain. It's like um, 
yeah, just rock and roll music, very well played, very uh, good band, and then there's a band also from the US, Lettuce, it's like more funky and instrumental stuff, so it's a very, yeah, many bands. Oh.